Right, my beautiful people of the internet, Halloween is around the corner. I personally love Halloween, even though it isn't really celebrated much where I'm from. It's a time of spooks, scares, and just embracing a feeling of unease or fear that we normally would hate at any other time of the year. Of course, some people love these things all year round, but what I'm talking about is the majority of people, especially Roblox players. So in light of Halloween being around the corner, I reckon that we do a somewhat kind of scary video today. It's not really that scary in terms of spooky, but more in terms of creepy, because I did not want to do anything we have no proof of or something that was just fake. No, I actually wanted to do something real. Something that has actually happened on Roblox before. And this is probably the best story I've come across fitting that description. It's incredibly creepy, it really happened, and it just shows you that you are never really safe on Roblox. Enjoy the video. To start our story, we have to backtrack to 2020. 2020 was a horrible time for a majority of people. Most countries were in the middle of a lockdown. But for Roblox, this was a good thing. It means more people were playing Roblox. It also means more things could go wrong. But on the 2nd of August 2020, a Roblox extension was released to the Google Web Store. Now if you don't know what an extension is, an extension is basically a downloadable tool for Google or any other search engine which allows you to do things that you wouldn't normally be able to do on the search engine. It's meant to, in Google's words, enhance the functionality of the browser. In fact, I actually plan to release a video soon of the best Roblox extensions. So be sure to like that. Now this extension was called Search Blocks and it was extremely powerful. It allowed players to join any other player in game no matter what their privacy settings was. This means that you could join your favorite Roblox YouTuber just by having this extension enabled even when their privacy settings on Roblox meant you shouldn't have been able to. Many content creators disliked this idea, and rightfully so. It meant that fans or trolls could disrupt recordings and live streams. And some people could even use this tool to stalk players. But due to the amount of backlash it received, on the 18th of March 2021, the plugin was removed from the Google Web Store, but the following day it was put back up again. That's the rough history of search blocks. However, the scary part was yet to happen. In fact, a whole year later, on the 22nd of November 2022, the creator of search blocks, a user by the name of Fripp, pushed a sudden update for the extension and removed the repository containing the extension source code from GitHub. What this basically means is that when search blocks was released, anyone could go on Fripp's GitHub account and view the code that allowed search blocks to function. This meant that people could check search blocks' code just before downloading it. It was basically a way to be sure that the extension was safe. But Fripp, the creator, removed it with this update. Later that same day, large amounts of people began complaining about how their Robux and Limited suddenly went missing. Many people began speculating that this was because of the search blocks extension, as people began putting the links together that this was only happening to people that had the search blocks extension installed. A popular Roblox YouTuber, my username's this, had the search blocks extension installed himself, and posted that later in the day he had purchased a t-shirt without his knowledge which caused him to lose all of his Robux. Bucks. He decided to take matters into his own hands and investigated the matter further. He had found out that the plugin's update was a backdoor to execute a JavaScript code into the user's browser, which created a t-shirt that matched the number of Robux the user had and purchased the t-shirt automatically. Analyzing the code also found that the code made trading enabled if the user had Roblox Premium and then sent trade requests to the hijacker's account to steal the user's most valuable items. So to break it down in simpler terms, if you had a thousand Robux in your account, the script would run that you would create a t-shirt for a thousand Robux and then force you to purchase the t-shirt, losing all your Robux in the process. It was a clever trick because as long as you had the search box extension, you couldn't actually do anything about it. Eventually, the Roblox community started banding together to figure out who was behind the sudden attack. They found out that limited items were being traded to a new account at the time called Unstoppable Lucent. But people quickly discovered that this was merely a holding account, meaning that it would be transferred to that account, but it wouldn't stay there for very long. Eventually, all stolen items would be traced back to an account named CC Font, who actually became the 13th richest user on the platform at the time of the incident. This is when users began warning others to uninstall certain 
research blocks to prevent losing items or robux a few hours later after reports began popping up everywhere on x specifically or twitter has almost known at the time the accounts associated with this incident were terminated as well as the group used to store robux in on the 23rd of november 2022 google removed search blocks from the chrome web store and roblox began restoring robux and items lost by users affected by the incident now if you thought that this was some small incident you will be mistaken as the scariest part is yet to follow it is believed that 200,000 Roblox players were affected that day. So the moral of the story is to always be safe. Even in times that you think you are safe, never let your guard down. The world is full of horrible people. And even in a time where we celebrate fictional monsters, ghosts, or whatever else scary that comes to mind, do not forget that we as humans are the true monsters. That was corny lol, but have a happy Halloween for real.